Hi and welcome to Cebuano Cebuano News. The South Coastal Urban Development Project includes the proposed 10-meter wide monorail route. It is Mayor Rama's vision for the monorail to run parallel to South Coastal Boulevard, which is also parallel to a 70-meter waterway that will serve as a buffer and recreation zone between the South Coastal Urban Development and the SRP Commercial Zone. According to the CPDO's proposal, the monorail route will be constructed in preparation for a future mass transit from Talisi City to the Mactansibu International Airport in Lapu-Lapu City. The construction of 10 high-rise buildings will now begin after President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and local officials broke ground on the Cebu City South Coastal Urban Development Housing Project in Barongi San Nicolas on Monday, February 27, 2023. About 9,000 informal settler families and low-wage earners in the city are expected to benefit from the project's Phase 1, which is under the current administration's Pambansang Pabae Para S.A. Pilipino Housing Program. The 20-story buildings will be built within a 25-hectare development site, according to the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development DHSUD, the project is situated across the South Road properties and it has three phases, covering a total of 60 hectares of land area in Barangay San Calero, Dulja Fatima, Mombaling, Basic San Nicolas, Basic Pardo, Kinasangan Pardo, Cogon Pardo, and Inayawan. Phase 1 covers Kinasangan Pardo, Basic Pardo, and Basic San Nicolas, while Phase 2 will be in Inayawan, Cogon Pardo, and South of South Road Properties, SRP. The third phase of the project covers Dulja Fatima and Song Calero. There shall be allocated a total of 270-meter strip along these barangays beyond the SRP for the project which will include waterways, streets and highways, monorail stations and railways, community-slash-commercial centers, recreation areas and mangrove parks, the Cebu City Planning Development Office, CPDO, said in its proposal. As for the project's completion date, the city and national governments have no timeline yet because parts of the development sites are lots that are still privately owned. There are some that are city-owned. Some parcels have claimants, we learned, said Sir Winnie Diota, Mayor Rama's special assistant on communications, I in the memorandum of understanding with the DHSUD, the city provides the lots for the high-rise residential buildings. Rama said the groundbreaking of the South Coastal Urban Development Project is a dream come true for him. As for Marcos, he said the program is the solution to the country's housing problem, with the goal of constructing 6 million houses by the end of his six-year term in 2028. He said housing projects are not simply about building houses, but also about making human settlements where communities can thrive together with decent housing. Marcos appealed to the future recipients of the project to take care of the houses, keep them clean and orderly, adding that the government will make the program affordable to the masses. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.